Hey survivalists, Malcolm here at Survival Know How. Today I'm going to teach you a really simple trick that will improve your readiness in an everyday situation as well as when you're out here in the wild. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to create survival boots. Stay tuned. So what if I told you that there's one simple modification that you can make to any boot or shoe that's going to help you start a fire uh, in the wild, it's going to help you catch fish and catch wild game, it's going to help you build shelter, and it's going to help you in any number of situations in an emergency. And you can make this one simple modification for about $15, sometimes less, and the simple modification is going to go pretty much undetected by anybody else. So what is this simple thing that you guys can do? It is replacing your shoelaces with something like this. So this is called Titan Cord, uh, and it's kind of a jacked up version of paracord. So it's very similar, it's got the outer sheath just like a paracord, and it's got all the inner strands, you know, just like a paracord, but it also has a couple bonus strands. So it, for example, here we have a fishing line that you can use obviously to catch fish. Here we have a metal cable that you can use to make snares. And then here we have a jute line, and I believe this one is a fire starter line, okay? Both of these can be used to uh, ignite a fire pretty easily. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be replacing my shoelaces with some Titan cord, and that is just going to um, improve my readiness in any situation, you know? Any situation that I need some strong cordage, man, I'll be ready. So most shoelaces are actually very weak. Um, you don't really want to use them for much else other than just tying your shoes. Uh, these shoelaces I have here have actually broken on me several times and it's really about time that I replace them. So why not go with something like some Titan cord? So I'm going to take this off first just so I can kind of get an idea of how much cordage I'm going to actually need to replace these with. All right, so overall, this is about how long my shoelaces are. They actually were a little bit longer, but like I said, these shoelaces have broken on me several times, and I've actually tied them together uh, once or twice now. So I'm gonna get the Titan cord out and kind of match that up, just so I have an idea of how much uh, I'm going to need. So here is the minimum amount of Titan cord that I can need, and I am gonna actually add a good bit more to that. And if you ever have any excess, all you can do, all you need to do is just kind of wrap it around your boot a few times. So I do have some tips for when you're doing this because it can be kind of tricky. And that is you're really going to need two items to help you out. Uh, one is a pair of pliers or some kind of multi-tool like this. And the other is going to be a source of fire. Um, and the reason for the fire is that the paracord can get a little unruly, especially when you're trying to feed it through your shoe eye holes. You know, uh, trying to feed this through there is going to be next to impossible. So I'm going to teach you guys kind of a quick trick on how to... Um, make a nice end on the end of a paracord like this. The first thing you want to do is you want to pull the guts out a good bit, just like that. All right, and then you want to cut the guts off and kind of and discard those. Now push the uh, sheathing back over top the guts. And I'm actually going to cut off this frayed part here as well, because that's not going to do me any good. So we're now going to take a flame to the actual sheathing here. And you, you pretty much want to light it actually on fire. Like you want this to be really, uh, really melt and be smoldering. <sighs> okay, so now this is all nice and moldable. Take your pliers and you start pinching off this end here. All right, so that will make it a hell of a lot easier to feed this through your shoe uh, eye holes. And I actually do this to pretty much the end of all my paracord. After I cut it, I usually try to cut out some of the guts, pull the sheath back, pull the sheath back to where it was, and then melt it and pinch it off. You can also use your fingers here a little bit, but uh, pliers work just as well. Uh, so after you do that, um, you can feed it through your eye holes or your shoelaces, and you can use your pliers to grab it and pull it through, and it make, makes it a pretty, pretty easy, pretty easy job. So when it's all done, it should look something like this. Uh, to the average person, they're not even going to be able to tell that you actually have paracord uh, instead of shoelaces. Now I have a little bit of extra here, and you know I can just stuff that into my boot, or I can wrap it around my leg after uh, I tie my shoes. 
So I have about eight feet of paracord, uh, Titan paracord here on each foot. So that's about 16 feet total of paracord. You know, if you're in a survival situation, just imagine how valuable that would be to you, having 16 feet of paracord and on uh, what you can do, you know. So this is a great survival tip. Uh, if you guys go and do a lot of hiking or camping, um, or if you just want to be prepared in an everyday situation, I absolutely recommend uh, replacing your shoelaces with some paracord or fire cord or some titan cord. So real simple trick guys, just replace your shoelaces, nobody can even tell. Um, I hope you guys found this video useful, it was another quick video. Don't forget to check out the blog, survivalknowhow.net, and until next time, remember, knowledge weighs nothing. So long.